We're covering Adams County and the man selected to take lead of the 27J school district next year. Will Pierce who was elected superintendent with a unanimous uh, roll call vote. Our Olivia Young covers Adams County. She's joining us live right now to tell us more about him. Olivia. Well, Alan, Pierce won't become superintendent until July of next year. But when he does, you might not notice much of a change, and that's what he wants. Now, Pierce is a Colorado native with 24 years of experience in the district. He served as a teacher, a principal, and now an administrator. He's currently deputy superintendent. We have a mission that we're really proud of, and, and we want to continue those. 27J Superintendent Select Will Pierce plans to continue work funded by a recently approved mill levy override. Thanks to that measure, 27J is no longer the lowest funded school district in the metro area. Our, our teachers will be able to celebrate the highest raise that I can ever remember in 27J. The funding is creating a career and technical education center, decreasing elementary class sizes, and addressing families' top priority. What do you feel like are some of the top concerns for parents right now? Right now, safety would have to be boiled to the top. The district has armed SROs in all secondary schools. We drill on safety, consistently drill on safety. We have every protocol that there could be. A recent lockdown at Prairie View High School after a nearby shooting involving students is an example of that protocol. I actually happened to be at Prairie View the day that that happened. And our SRO radio from one school to another school was faster to lock that thing down before I got communication from any other way that we could have had it. So we were able to lock down that school really quickly. The biggest problem facing the district, despite the mill levy, it's still funding. When we dream up safety solutions, we're going to be about $3,000 per kid less. That is the biggest challenge we still have to work through. Now, the district is still on a four-day school week. Here says staff and parents have indicated that they actually like that, and the district wants to see some data on student success before they make the decision to switch back to five-day. In Brighton, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First.